reconnaissance plane designed in months using mainly off-the-shelf parts. It was developed in record time because its designers went ahead without the usual government contracts specifying every single feature. The makers of the Scorpion think there's a gap in the market between the cheaper trainer aircraft and your full-blooded F-35 strike fighter type planes, which at $120 million a go are really expensive. So they've produced this one from drawing board to its actual flight in less than two years. And they've done that by ignoring your typical military procurement process. They've taken all the decisions themselves about uh, what it'll be like and most of the parts, like the eject to seats the engine come off the peg that's kind of reduced the cost and the whole time of producing this plane all they need now are some buyers I think there's a market for a couple thousand of these aircraft many countries need to both develop their pilots and training they have requirements to be able to do that kind of uh, surveillance uh, mode but they also have the ability to interdict and, and attack when necessary and so this aircraft was designed to be able to satisfy a, a range of those sorts of missions, had to do it in a very affordable way in terms of both the acquisition of the aircraft and the maintenance and support of the aircraft. Obviously, the fuselage, the wings, it's an all-composite structure, and that was designed clean slate for the program because that was really the uniqueness of what we were trying to create in terms of the mission for this aircraft. The process that we're following here, while arguably certainly quite